Hey, good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing? It is Monday, June 29th of 2020. I got a few things I'm going to be bringing you. One of them is Stay Bright. Um, it's a plug-in where if you just leave your Vita um, left alone for, say, let's say three minutes, five minutes tops, the screen will dim. Um, if you're tired of that like I am, um, there's a plug-in called Stay Bright, and it'll make your screen not go dim at all. But I think it just eats up a little bit more of your battery life. So it's up to you to use it. It's totally up to you. Um, I downloaded it through uh, Auto Plugin too. And I'm going to show you that. Uh, and the next one I'm going to show you is something called Auto Boot Configuration version 1.2. Um, for my previous video, I showed you Auto Boot where you could boot into uh, the One Menu UI. Um, this Auto Boot Configurator is something totally cool. Um, this time you don't even have to go to your Vita shell and go to your tie folder and uh, enter in um, what application you want to boot. Um, this auto boot configurator lists what you have installed onto your Vita and you just have to hit the X button. And next time you restart your PlayStation Vita, um, it will boot to that program that you set previously. So it just um, wipes out you hard coding. Well, not really hard coding, but typing in a, a code just to boot up to a certain application that you want. This makes it so much easier, and this way you don't like mess up or something like that. It's just just point and click pretty much, or just use the D-pad and mark it. Um, the third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the two f couple of files um, called the SUPRK, I believe it is. I'm... I'm Pretty sure I messed that up. Um, I installed the battery uh, mod, three of them, in my previous video. And I think I said that once you want to uninstall those battery mods, I figured those files would be deleted for good. But they're not. They're actually still on your system. So I'm just going to show you um, where to go and how to delete them. And I show you the config.txt file showing that there's no code within that txt file um, so you're more than welcome to delete them if you want or just leave them on there uh, it doesn't make a difference but I just figured what the hell just throw something else in without further ado let's get started all right the links will be down in the description as always um, download the auto boot configurator 1.2 as you can tell it's downloading or it's almost finished um, from here you want to jump over to your PlayStation Vita go to your Vita shell Wait for the F for the file manager to load up. Hit the select button. So the FTP numbers will be showing you what you need to be put into the FTP um, application on your desktop. So we're back over to the computer side. Load up whatever f um, FTP um, application you got. And enter in the FTP numbers. And once you, connect, once you are connected with the PlayStation Vita... Search for the UXO folder, and once you find the UXO folder, you want to scroll all the way down to where it says VPK. Now find the folder on your computer where the VPK file is downloaded. Everybody's is different. But once you find it, drag it over to the VPK folder on the PlayStation Vita. And then after that, you're all done with the PC side. So you might as well, let's just jump back over to the PlayStation Vita. Come back, the box is still up. Just hit cancel. Scroll down to the UXO. Now find yourself the VPK. And there you go. Hit X, hit yes. Yes again to install it. Only takes a few seconds, like 10 seconds. After that, you want to back out and then hit start and you want to reboot your console. Well, yeah, console, right? Ah, uh, the handheld. While well, the handheld is being booted, rebooted back up, I just want to say thank you for everyone who's sticking around, who's watching these videos. Um, I appreciate it. If you got any questions, I'll try to answer them and help you guys out. I'm still brand new, just like everyone else is. But um, once the PlayStation Vita boots up, it'll boot up to my one menu, since I have that auto-booted. And as you can tell, you see the new box, auto-boot configurator. You want to tap on that. 
Now, right from here are the applications and the games that I have installed already onto my PlayStation Vita. All you got to do is just hit the X button to mark whatever application or game you want to be auto-booted when you turn on your PlayStation Vita. So I tried the custom themes manager. What I did was I chopped up the video and I backed out of the application and just powered down the system and powered, them, powered the system back up. So we are here with the um, main menu right now and it, it just loaded up to the custom themes. So that makes it so much easier to, then to go into your tie folder on the server side of the PlayStation Vita and enter in um, like a string of code for your config.txt. At least this way you can't mess around, you can't mess anything up. It's easy to do and it's so much quicker. To me, I think it's much quicker. I'm glad I found this little add-on. So I'll be using this quite a bit. So the next step or next thing I want to show you guys is the stay bright. As you can tell, I have this set on my on the main menu and see it just dimmed. If you're tired of seeing that on your PlayStation Vita, I'll show you how to get a plugin where it, your screen will not dim ever again. Um, I think it does eat up a little bit of your battery life, but I could be wrong because it shows um, in the video that the battery life got eaten up around 50%. But when I went to one media, one menu, I should say, um, it says 57. So I don't know how you could calculate a percentage. But at any rate, go to auto plugin too. Scroll all the way down to the S's where, it's, where you see stay bright. The nice thing is about auto plugin, you download something, the code has already been written into the config.txt, which is awesome. Saves you the time and, and uh, trouble. I just don't understand why. Um, there's more plugins out there. I don't understand why they're not within the auto plugin too. But I don't know. Maybe it's reserved for certain authors. I guess I don't know. I couldn't tell you. So we rebooted the system, and I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to be backing out of this one menu anyway. So what are you guys waiting for? PS Five. What, what kind of games would you like? I can't wait to get it. I'm going to wait anyway. Um, I really hope there's a Silent Hill game that's coming to the PlayStation 5. And I can't wait for the Resident Evil. Although I haven't beat the, I haven't beaten Resident Evil 7 on the difficulty level yet. Um, but other than that, I can't help wait. I just wish the PlayStation Vita would be uh, used, with, used with the uh, PlayStation 5. But I don't really don't think they're going to do that. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, please leave them. Got anything you want me to try out, please leave that. Let me know, and I'll give whatever app or plug-in or something to try, and I'll show you guys before you install and ruin your handheld or whatever. I don't mind.
that was the Stay Bright plugin for the PlayStation Vita. Um, right now, I'm going to go back to the Auto Plugin application, and I'm going to uh, delete the Stay Bright plugin, so I could show you that um, you could delete the plugins even though the code has been deleted, even though you uninstall the plugin from the plugin um, manager. So as you saw right there, I installed it. Could reboot the system. All right. Once the PlayStation Vita has been fully rebooted. Gonna close this out. Now I'm gonna go to the Vita shell. I'm gonna show you um, the files that are still on the Vita, even though you did uninstall them from the Auto Plugin 2 application. Which for some reason I had no idea that the files would be on here still, even though you just uninstalled them. But I guess you gotta delete them the hard way. So I'm just going through one of the text files to show you that there's no code, no line of code. So you'd be okay to delete the files that you just uninstalled. I'm just I'm just uh, making these labels blink so you know which ones I'm talking about. The shell bat plugins and the stay bright. And there was a controller plugin as well. That you could play your uh, PlayStation 4 controller with the PlayStation Vita. So I'm just highlighting the controller, the PlayStation 4 plugin, and all three Shellbat um, plugins along with the Stay Bright. I'm going to go to Delete. I'm going to delete these items because the line of code is not in the config.txt file. And after I deleted them, I'm going to back out. I'm going to hit Start. If I can find it in the dark, I feel like I love to work in the dark. And I'm going to reboot the system just to show you just to show you that if you do this, you're all set. You don't have to worry about anything malfunctioning, no errors, or anything like that. So I just want to let you guys know that you're able to do this if you'd like to delete these files. Even though they don't even take up too much space. So that's about it, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.